What is up YouTube? My name is Alex Panega, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to redesign this, the thing you see right here. So um, when I was starting out as a designer, one of the things that I attribute a lot of my visual cues and ability to design um, and make things look good was I copied a lot of work. Now, I didn't copy stuff and throw it on my dribble and you know raise my hand and say, look what I did. Uh, this was all created by me, never stole it. You know, Give me my likes and stuff on dribble. I never did that. Um, it was more to see how the designers were keying in on some of the things. How were they creating what they were creating on the canvas? How were they getting the corners rounded? What size icons and fonts were they using and stuff like that. So it helped me out a bunch. And a lot of the courses that I took for visual design online and offline, they, it was very similar. Like you would basically find as a, a designer who you super respected, right? Mine, all the people that I liked and respected were on Dribbble. And I would grab the design that they had, I would put it on my Photoshop can, this sketch wasn't around yet, and I would basically etch out as if I was getting paid to replicate pixel by pixel exactly what a designer who was years and light years ahead of me skill-wise um, had done. So I saw this on Dribble today. I was gonna do a product hunt review, but I thought this would be a little, a little bit more valuable to those of you who are starting out in UI UX, who are trying to get better at it visually, whatever. If you follow this tutorial, it's gonna be very quick. I'm gonna give the sketch file in the end so you guys can have it, but understand what I'm doing, and you guys don't need to do it specifically for this project, which is a, it's a news app designed by Kabur, I don't even know how to say this, Kaburdo, whatever. Um, you guys can go find a designer who you you know super respect, grab their work, duplicate it. Don't post it because the design community's tight niche. You know what I mean? They'll come for your head if they see that you're trying, if you're stealing people's work and trying to claim it as your own. They'll come for your head. Um, so don't don't think you're gonna be slick with it. But let's dive straight into this. I do have a meeting very soon here, so. I have, whoa, 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 I'm just trying to open a new canvas and get started. Where are we at, where are we at, we're right here? We are right here, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways, let's dive into this. So I'm just gonna copy this, copy image, I'm gonna paste this on my canvas. I'm only gonna be designing the screen on the right here. This, this one doesn't have as much of the shapes that I'm trying to mimic and learn from, so I'm just gonna crop it. So the first thing I'm gonna do, guys, is you know you can bring things up to really get the angles and fonts um, accurate, if you will, uh, just because no matter how pixelated it is, you're making the real version. So you guys will be able to, with the version you create inside Sketch, export at, at a 2x or 3x or 0.5x, whatever that might be, um, canvas size. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna hit U on my keypad. I'm just using a basic keyboard. I'm not using you know a special designer keypad that you know Dan Petty sold me or something like that. This is a normal keyboard Mac style. So all I did there was um, I just basically I, I understand I'm moving a little fast, but all I'm doing here, guys, I just hit the U command. Basically, it, it allows me to have um, rounded corners. I'm stretching it out to the same width. And then what I can do is just remove the border to get more of an accurate feel, right? You can see we're, we're a few pixels off, so I can scoot this in a little bit, bring this in a little bit. And then for the radius, I'm literally just holding shift and the up arrow, it's gonna increase my border radius by 10 pixels as you would if you were holding shift and moving left to right and you had like an object selected. So I'm gonna go up one, two, three, four, five. Looks like at about five, we start seeing the white spot. So I'm gonna you know, work backwards, if you will. And we have a border radius of 45 pixels. So I'm gonna bring that all the way down here. And I'm gonna make sure that this, this video stays under 10. So if we don't get through it all the way, guys, my apologies. You know, go, go do the rest. You guys can have the sketch file and it's yours. So now we have the shape. So the shape's there, right? Now what about this other stuff? Um, we have an arrow right there, we have the two dots, we have some sort of like tagline that says fashion, we have the actual text, nice little photo, uh, text right here. The part that really grabbed my attention was this right here. So this is actually what I really want to focus on. So I'm just gonna make this white, guys, disappeared. I'm just gonna bring a regular square, send it to the back. And then what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I'm just gonna remove the border, same thing, 
and use a gradient. There's a gradient from this orange in the background. So I'm going to select the top left corner, and then I'm going to use the, the linear gradient to select the bottom left corner, right? That's just going to keep things consistent, but I really want to get this down right here. So we'll just add some content just to make sure that the top of it doesn't feel dead, right? We have like a just a square right here. I'll go ahead and I'll just use my color picker. Whoops. To it looks like it actually went inside. To grab that. So there's that. I have some text here, so I don't. I just might write just like text here. More text here. It's all white, so that's why you guys don't see it. And why is it always? It's not. What's what's going on here? There we go. So texture text here more the more text here and then what else do we have we have a little we have the date right so we might just write like friday we're going to copy this exactly but remember guys we're not posting this this is just to make you guys understand how i got good at visual design early and how to increase your skills as a visual designer if you're looking to get in the field of UI UX. So there's our date. I'll bring this down. We have some more text there. I feel like I can skip out on that. We have our, our little image right here, which is the same width as here. So I'll just copy that width, 315. I'm gonna center everything inside my phone. And then I don't even know if I have, I do. I have a photo right here. It's actually a post that's going up. Um, I'm posting it to my Dribble Friday. It's basically a portfolio concept I came up with that never really went anywhere. But I thought the typography and the layout was kind of cool. So I'm actually going to use that as my image, as this girl right here holding her faces. So I might do something like that. Let's bring this in just a little bit. Perfect. Good. And then I actually want to see this person's face in the background. That's not me, guys. That was a photo from Stocksy. But let's dive into this section right here. And then you guys can be in charge of recreating this if you want to, you know, dialing in on finding what font that is, which, uh, you know, that's obviously a curvature font. So it's not a, it's not a serif font. Um, and then fashion right here, you guys can add that in. Get, make sure the pixels top left or top, bottom, and left are, you know, identical and stuff like that. But let's recreate this. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my vector tool. And I'm going to start, out, start off by just making a very simple rectangle. I'm holding shift on my keypad to make sure that my lines are straight. But as you can see, I messed up right here. So I'm just gonna select that, hold shift, select both of these points, and then I can actually just align both of these points left. You saw it just kind of skip over a few pixels. So that's that. And then now what I'm gonna do is one by one, I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go up a little bit. You can see I'm, there's a little bit of orange right here. So I'm gonna go up and I'm literally just going to corner by corner eye it and figure out the border radius per corner. So it looks like that one's 45. I would assume that this is 45 as well, which it is. And then right here, I'm gonna eye this one, which is 30. And obviously for consistency reasons, even if it wasn't 30, I'm gonna make it 30. So there we go, I'm gonna drag this over here. We have our base shape. That grabbed my eye when I was looking at this design. I think it made it look different, fun, zesty, cool. And then they just have icons right here. So what do we have? We have nine minutes. So you have the word fashion, right? Now you can zoom in, you can put it on the text. You can see that my text said, with, with, with the character spacing being 0.38 is pretty on point. Um, I can use my vector tool to make this little lightning bolt. Bam, bam, bam. Or you can check out the noun project. The noun project has a lot of free, fun icons. Just gonna make that white. Same thing here, vector tool. I'm gonna use my little tip where I hold shift so I'm getting these straight curves. And then Sketch does help me out a little bit by showing me that red line when things are 100% aligned. And let's do it, we're at 950, so let's just add this. I'm, I'm using the L command on my keypad and I'm holding shift to get these lines and then I'm just gonna increase the borders by three. And then if I wanna round them, right, because they were rounded, I'm just gonna hit this little gear tool and round these corners out by selecting that instead of uh, pointed right there. So there we go. Then I can bring this here and bam, 
that's how we do it. That's how we do it. So quick, fun, easy tutorial. And let's zoom out and you guys can see. This color's a little off, so I can actually come here and grab it. It looks like my color picker itself is a little off. But anyways, that's a very quick version in under 10 minutes, how to get close to something like this. Obviously this hit number one on Dribble. If I would have posted it, it probably wouldn't have. I know these guys have like close to 100,000, if you will. They have over 100,000 followers, so a lot of their stuff does make it to the top. But that little navigation itself, when I was starting out my career, those little eye candy pieces that would catch my attention, I would instantly go in, grab it, copy on top of it, see what they were doing, and then, you know, if I'm working on a piece somewhere down the line, I'm not gonna copy them, but, you know, I know from now referencing, you know, a, a navigation for mobile at the bottom with some rounded corners can make a difference visually and that might be you know that might stick with me and that's how you really get good at, des at designing long term you do a lot of projects you figure out what works what doesn't um, you know you, you kind of make your own way into the design realm by by kind of just whatever you like and that, that's how I got started in design stuff looked beautiful to me I wanted to figure out how to create it and then when I would have to get um, on a project or do a project I would incorporate some of the stuff that I remember from copying some of the best designers, what they were doing, and that really helped me as a visual designer. So that's how you create that. I'm actually gonna delete this so we don't get sued for copyright stuff, but um, I'm gonna give you guys the sketch file so you guys can have access to this, but I would super recommend any designers that you guys respect or you wanna copy or whatever, go in, spend a few hours, 20 minutes. This was, this was 12 minutes, guys. Um, and, and really just key in and, and zoom in and try to get those things pixel perfect so you can start thinking the way your favorite designer thinks. And that's how you're gonna get good. So if you guys want me to review anything, uh, and side note, sorry for talking so fast, I literally have a meeting uh, in like five minutes with a client that pays me money. YouTube doesn't pay me money right now. So, um, and, but if you guys want me to review anything, you can email me in the email below. Um, I, 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 posted something on yesterday i have just like a few dribble invites so if you guys aren't on dribble yet i know we were talking about it earlier in the video um email me and i'll shoot you an invite but until next time youtube i'm out